you guys so you know um lately i've been posting a lot about this and i'm super excited to now be a nutrition coach and be offering my services but something you may not know it's why i'm doing all this you may be knowing me like you may know me now from fitness from my fitness classes kickboxing or strong or many other studios where i've worked um or maybe you know me from a long time ago from high school from university um or a family member i want you to know why i'm doing this because this is something i'm so passionate about that i just want to share it so um if we go back sometime and we actually go to my studies in university I've changed my mind a few times. If you know me for a while, you may know this. Um, in theory, I graduated with a bachelor's degree of graphic design, design and business administration. I love graphic design and the business administration was something I truly enjoyed as well because um, my dream was always to become an entrepreneur. And it's something I always had there and I always wanted to create my own business somehow, but I never really tackled and I was focused on my graphic design and that's where I, where I started working. And I had a few jobs in it. I was in low, uh, loving it. Um, I designed jerseys, I designed websites, um, logos, a little bit of everything. And even though I enjoyed it, I wasn't really, I, I didn't find my passion. Like this is what I, what I wanna do for the rest of my life or this is when I, what I enjoy doing on my time off or anything like that. Like I, I enjoy art, being creative and all those things, but I wasn't really passionate about the actual job when I had to be on a desk in front of a computer for a long time and meeting all these deadlines and whatnot. I wasn't really that big fan of it. So I started looking for an outlet and I found fitness. Fitness was huge for me. Um, it changed my life um, as a participant. I started taking classes, met a lot of friends here in Canada. Um, and any new place where I went, fitness was a great connection with people. Um, I started taking classes in a few different places, got really good at it, then decided to move into becoming a fitness um, coach. And I did it. I started teaching classes for fun. And at some point, my graphic design day job was not enough. And I just wanted, like, I was all day working in my office, um, doing my graphic design, and I would be thinking about my classes in the evening. So I decided, like, you know what? This is not worth it. I want to be a fitness coach uh, full time. You know, like, why am I here daydreaming about my hobby all day? Like, this is not how life should be. So I went for it. I got my certifications and I became a full time fitness instructor. I absolutely love it and I've been teaching fitness now for about four years. I even have been doing it full time for um, almost two years now and it's something I enjoy so much and seeing everyone's faces at the end of the class, their sweaty selves, but they're happy, they're smiling, they're feeling confident, they're learning new skills, sometimes they're losing weight or they're just feeling better about themselves. All that to me was amazing, so rewarding. And that's why I love this career or new path that I started taking. But nutrition was something that I never really cracked. I felt like I was eating healthy, but was that actually healthy? I wasn't sure. Um, as a fitness coach, I learned a lot about the basics of um, how to eat healthy and promote good health. But I didn't really know how deep that had to go, how much of each thing I had to eat and things like that. And I started myself testing and trying it out. I myself started training in different ways. I did kickboxing, I went to the gym, I did strength training, I tried CrossFit and I noticed that something was off. I wasn't at my best performance possible. I wasn't able to lose weight. So my eating had to be, like, it had to be. That's why I was like, I need to learn, I need to crack this. I got help from a nutritionist and that was amazing. Like, it opened my eyes to what I was supposed to be eating. And it was like, okay, how do I get from where I am to where my nutrici nutritionist want me to be, or let's say it's recommending me to be, for me to be at optimal performance and, performance and health. And that's where I found a little bit of a gap I feel like I could have followed the plan, but 
my body wasn't used to it and I wanted to know why she gave me that plan my nutritionist um, I wanted to know the why behind it so I could also help more people with it since I'm a, uh, sorry, a fitness coach myself so I just started digging into it because I needed to crack this I couldn't follow the plan exactly how she gave it to me because I couldn't understand it and I couldn't I didn't know how to cook things what ingredients were good why did I have to have those ingredients and I couldn't wrap my head around it so after a lot of consideration I started studying uh, or the options to become a nutrition uh, nutritionist coach or more of an expert in the field now all this time the thing that kept like was in my head for the longest time and I never really thought about is the fact that um, I never really ate the healthiest way when I was growing up um, of course I was a healthy kid um, there was nothing really wrong with the way I was eating at the moment or I didn't see it that way I thought I was fine and then I started having as an adult all these issues you know like skin problems or I became sensitive to lactose and gluten and all the things and I have irritable bowel syndrome it's like where is all this coming from um, so if I dig deeper into my health uh, my family history one side of my family is really um, have a high risk of diabetes and then on my other side of the family there's a high risk of thyroid issues um, again I didn't know what to do with it I thought okay there's a risk that I may get diabetes there's a risk that I may get thyroid issues um, so what what do I do turns out nutrition is the biggest thing that I can do to prevent to get any getting there for diabetes and for thyroid it, it may not be something to prevent to get there but it's, it, it may be something to manage it so all these things came together and it's like I'm doing this I need to learn I need to get better I need to become healthier myself and I need to help my family become healthier that's when it all came to life and I signed up and I got my certification in nutritious coaching nutrition coaching and I want to help others I want to help others know what they're supposed to be eating and society doesn't teach us that we don't know what we are supposed to have like how much carbs or protein or veggies how much food do we have at a meal um, how many meals do we have a day how often should we be eating all these little things is not something we learned in school high school middle school nowhere it's something that we know from our families and our families our parents probably don't even know it yet or either or may not know it at all and I want to help people to know what we should be eating for health in general um, this is not even just specific to weight loss even though if that's your goal I can help you but general health what do we do for our mental health for like, to be in optimal condition to prevent getting diseases or viruses or getting cold so often there's a lot we can do with nutrition and that's something I know now and that I can help people with so if you're curious about nutrition coaching how to get there what I do anything shoot me a message and I'm here to help I'll be happy to do that and as you know I have a website you can take a look there I've posted a lot of information there and of course if you're interested in coaching let me know I'll be so so happy to bring you on board thank you for listening guys and have a great day that's my story